Hi, I'm Dave from Boinaband.com and welcome to day two of the seven day song dubstep tutorial. Yesterday we made a dubstep beat from scratch to be the basis for our track. Today we're going to expand on that and add in some cool blips, hits and other samples to make the beat sound more interesting and professional. Okay, let's begin. So let's get a bit of a refresher. Have a listen to the beat we created in day one. That's just this instance of redrum. But to keep things tidy, we're going to create a new combinator to store all the devices for day two. Okay, so right click, combinator, and let's title this other hits. Nice and imaginative there. And right click in here, create line mix 6.2, and create redrum drum computer. Now I'll just load up a kit for redrum that I've made with some samples from the dubstep producer sample pack from primaloops.com, which is well worth the investment if you want to get some pro sounding dubstep on the go. But if you're struggling for some blips and samples, try checking out my glitch hop sample pack on boyinaband.com for some weird and wonderful noises you can intersperse your beat with. Be creative. I'll quickly go through the effects we'll be using. There's this vocal sample, a crash, a uh, blip, a click, and this process reverse cymbal sound, which is quite cool, so let's start with that one. Now, here in region, I've switched the decay gate mode this pulse wave and saw wave symbols there, to one, which means that the sample will only be played for as long as the note in the reason sequencer is held down, rather than the note actually triggering the full length of the sample. What this means is we can make the note and make a note that will last the whole of the last bar in this loop, and the sample will play up until then, cutting out as the new bar starts. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so in here, click the uh, pencil tool, drag an area, and Double click inside it, and with the pencil tool, go down to C1, because this is where C1 octave is where all the redrum hits are on the piano roll. And you can hear it there. So if we drag this note along for the full length of that last, uh, the last two bars actually, and we can, we'll hear that swell up and cut out as it loops around. And cut. Sweet. Let's name this lane Rev FX, so we don't forget what it is, the reverse effect. And then, um, yeah, that, that's sounding more interesting already. You can do this with any kind of volume swell sample, so be creative. Guitar feedback works quite well, as do regular old reverse cymbals. Okay, so next up we'll crash out with a, uh, a crash. Yeah, so for this we want to give the crash a bit of a reverb tail without adding too much reverb to the rest of the samples. Now this is where this Line 6.2 mixer comes in quite nicely. Press tab to see the back of the rack and drag from channel 10, which is the crash symbol channel, to a new channel in the mixer, channel 2 here. And now we've got control over this sample's volume and also we're going to be adding some reverb to it, which we can do with this auxiliary knob. And that gives us control over the amount of reverb we apply as well, which is what we want. So right click, create, RV7000 Advanced Reverb. Now, I'm just going to turn the decay up to about 117, sounds nice, and turn the high frequency damp right down so it's not too piercing the, the, uh, the decay there. And then just turn the auxiliary knob up to about halfway, something like that. And now, that'll be quite nice there on the end of the beat. So let's just put that in. Do you remember how to add a new note lane from the last tutorial? Right click, new note lane. And let's call that crash. And just quickly put that in. So, pencil tool, then Q is the uh, shortcut, and W is the shortcut for the pencil tool. Q is for the selection tool. Okay, so that's where I there it is. So let's chuck that in there. And that's our crash. Okay, so this is sounding pretty cool. Yeah, but I want a bit more from the crash out. So, as I said, I've got this this random vocal sample here. This boy, some random Jamaican guy shouting it. I'm not quite sure why he's saying boy, but we won't question that. And we can turn it into a cool sample anyway with a bit of clever delay. So here's a useful technique. Right click, create, and as you click um, the DDL digital delay line, which is what we want here, hold shift, 
and if you look at the back, it hasn't connected automatically to redrum, which is really useful when you want to do things like what we're about to do, which is drag the uh, channel 4 into the delay line. Both outputs. Ooh. Yeah. Into that input there, and we want another delay line now, so right click, create digital delay line and that's automatically gone across but yeah remember that holding shift down while you create a unit means there are no connections automatically made okay now drag the output into a new channel in this mixer up here again and that means we'll have this channel 4 going through this delay unit then this delay unit and then into our mixer now I'll just explain what we want to do with this delay um, we want to make it so it's two delays. One is a kind of short one which makes him sound like he's in some kind of room and then another one echoes that delay as if it's in some big mountains. So we want it to be like, instead of boy, it's going to be like b b boy And then that's the first delay and then the next one will be b b boy b b boy b b boy So it'll be really cool. So let's just bypass this one to get the first part started. So hit the MS on the first one let's take this right down to about 70-ish yeah that'll do and then um, get the feedback about 5 eighths that's 88 there and the dry wet to just below about half and then if we listen to that yeah now our Jamaican guy is in a, a metal room so we want to add this, this next delay so to do that Want to take his metal room into the Alps. We want to, uh, to change the steps up to six, and the feedback is cool where it is, about three eighths, and the dry wet just above about a quarter. You don't want this one to be too prominent. And just hit the play to test it. And there we go. That's our cool sample that's going to be at the start of each bar again. So right click, new note lane, vocal hit. Now let's just trigger that, so double click and move this one onto that boy. There he is. Thanks random Jamaican guy. You saved our dubstep track. Now, one last thing, let's add in some blips to make it kind of offbeat and fun, which I think these samples will be perfect for. Okay, so let's get those blips down and finish this beat. I'll use a more conventional approach here and put the notes into Redrum's own sequencer, then copy them into the track into our new note lane that we'll create. Okay, so let's get to work on that. I'll get this blip and put it on the back beat on 5 and 13. Nice head nodding feeling from that. And then to kind of to make the uh, the beat roll a bit more, I'll put this click just before the snare, and notice I've got the shuffle on here. So make sure you hit that to get, just to get that kind of swing to it. And that's really cool. So that, that's a good basis for it. So if we make our new note lane. Right click, new note lane. Let's call this blips. And now with that selected, right click redrum and click copy pattern to track. And then make sure you hit the enable pattern section so this sequence in Redrum isn't actually working so it doesn't play double the notes, which gets quite confusing when you start changing things around. Okay, so I'll start making a few changes here to make it a bit more interesting. Now that's got a cool flow to it. So if we just maybe use that, doubled, control click and drag as our blips. Yeah, that's cool. Sweet. Take a listen to that. If that isn't head noddingly dub, I don't know what is. Definitely an improvement over the drum beat alone. Tune in tomorrow for day three, where we'll be making some seriously fun wobble bass. Until then, have a play around and see what other crazy samples really make your beats stand out. If you found this tutorial useful, help me out by rating this video or posting a comment so other people can find it. And don't forget to check out my website, boyinaband.com. Have a nice day!